Yo guys, before this video starts, I just want to say that I haven't ridden every boat in the world, so I can't give you a good explanation or I can't give you the exact rope length and speed. So no matter what the boat, jet skis, fishing boat, tinny, rib, any boat you've ever ridden, comment below what your rope length is and what your speed is because that way you can help other people and hopefully give a more of an insight. But without further ado, we're going to begin the video right now. Lads, lassies, welcome back to the YouTube and today, welcome to, well, it's not really a tutorial, it's not really a riding video, but it is an answer to a question that I get asked time and time again. So first of all, let's just appreciate that it is Irish summer, I've got shorts on, I've got a t-shirt on, and that life is good right now, and I will be making use of it as tomorrow morning I'm going wakeboarding uh, in Ireland and I'm gonna, it's going to be sick, we're going to be on the boat, I'm going with a few friends, it's going to be like the OG days. But for now, we're in front of, speaking of the OG days, the bush. She's had a little bit of a trim, but nonetheless, we're going to get into this video. So, the two questions are, what line length should I ride, and how fast should the boat go? Now, the reason I have never ever answered this, or never even really spoke about it, is because it varies so much from boat to boat, from person to person, and from level to level. However, in this video, I'll do my best to give you a full, comprehensive kind of explanation of what speed and what rope length you should go. Okay, so it's probably easiest to start at what rope length and speed do I go. So again, like I said, that varies, but as a general rule of thumb, I try to ride at 72 and a half foot long. If I actually just get my rope, here I am pulling through 72 and a half feet. I've made a little half length at the end here, so the end of my rope doesn't actually have an end. So basically I go 72 and a half feet. I try to ride on every single boat at that length. However, there are some boats that I would ride a little bit longer and some boats I might ride shorter, but we'll get more into that in a second. In terms of what speed I ride, Usually it's about 23 miles an hour, which I think is about 37 or 38 or maybe even 39 kilometers an hour. Um, but again, that varies. So let me explain why it varies. So it's all about finding that sweet spot, and that's what I'm going to try and teach you. Basically, it's the balance between where the wake is good, where the line tension is good, and where the speed is good, not too fast, not too slow. So like I said, every boat is different. Generally, most 21 feet wakeboard boats, uh, if you had a intermediate to advanced level then you want to be going around 70 to 75 feet similarly enough if you're on like let's say any 23 24 or even 25 foot boats you want to go that same 70 75 feet at about 23 miles an hour now you'll have to take a bit of intuition and try and figure out exactly what's perfect and that is trial and error a lot of you i know don't have nice wakeboard boats and stuff like that so for example the video i have done here where i'm wakeboarding behind the ski boat I can tell you that in this video I was wakeboarding at 60 foot and probably only at about 20 and a half miles an hour, maybe 21 miles an hour tops. So basically the idea there is I was able to slow it down to try and get more out of the wake. So you get a little bit bigger wake if you go smaller, but then the problem is you're going slower so you've got more drag and you've more line tension because if you're going slower you need to shorten in your rope. Then the jet ski video, the one that everyone seems to really like, and I know a lot of people do wakeboard on jet skis. So in that video, I'm riding a 45 foot rope. Now I rarely ever will go that short or even nearly because I think it just creates so much line tension on every trick you get pulled into the boat. But when it's behind a jet ski, it's the sweet spot on the jet ski. It's only probably six, seven, eight feet long. Uh, we also, I don't know speed because the speedo is broken, but my guesstimate is about 17 or 18 miles an hour. So it really changes on what you're riding. And that's the kind of, the point I want to put across in this video is it's very different. Often as a rule of thumb, if you can't get from one side of the way to the other, no matter how hard you're trying, you're cutting hard, you're trying the progressive edge, then your rope is too long. So often people will ask me for some tips and the first thing I see is the rope is five or 10 feet too long. So don't be shy to bring it in and try it out and see how it feels. Another rule of thumb, and now I'm sorry that this video doesn't have the structure that a lot of my videos would, but is to have the wake clean. So if the wake is a little bit foamy, you know that white foam, almost like a breaking, then the chances are you're too long, the boat's too slow, or the boat is unbalanced. And what I mean by unbalanced is there might be three people on this side and one person on this side and the boat will sit off and it will throw out an uneven wake. So make sure that the boat is completely level as best as you can. If you get that 95% correct, then when it comes to actually setting the wake behind, you should be able to figure it out with speed and rope length. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that it 
uh, makes sense. I hope that it helps you. And of course, make sure to check out those comments, like I said at the beginning of the video, to see if anyone's riding something similar. Try to help each other out because obviously I haven't ridden every boat in the whole world. So I can't be of great advice for everyone. For now, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.